Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 410. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 407 to 412. In this video, we have a really cool question. Uh, someone asked, hey, I have a web query that's always returning K's and M's uh, uh, amount of data, right? K is a thousand, M is a million. But here's the problem. Every uh, 10 minutes or whatever, this is updating, and they want a formula that will convert this to the number. So here, we, we really want the number uh, 789000. And here, we want uh, 45.3 million. So how do we do that? Um, he has a huge list of this, and it, it's a web query. So when you hit refresh, this thing will change. Well, um, we're gonna ha we'll use VLOOKUP because doesn't K mean a thousand and M mean a million? Yeah, but we're gonna have to get a little tricky. We're gonna have to use the left and right and len function. So our formula can always look because this is really a text string. We need to get rid of that k and multiply, in our case, 1,000 times the 78.9. And secondarily, the VLOOKUP needs to extract the k from this and use it as a lookup value. Now, the first thing I want to do is just see if we can get this, extract this number from the m and the k. Now, we could get values like this, right, 8.8k. So we can't just use uh, left and then say 1, 2, 3, 4. We can't just go equals left of this comma 4. What left does is it says, hey, take this and give me just the four left characters. We can't do that because that formula would not work on this one. So we need to get a little tricky here. Uh, let's go ahead and um, put it into edit mode. And uh, it's the four we need to deal with. That um, A1 is just fine. Well, couldn't we, since K and M are always just one character, can we count all the characters? Here it would be one, two, three, four, five. Here it would be one, two, three, four. So can't we use the len, which counts all the characters? So right now, <laughs> it would always give us the same amount of characters, but we always want one. Uh, um, m minus 1, the length of all the characters. So from that, we'll just say minus 1. So that is always going to extract from the left everything except for the last character. So then I could copy this down. Now, by the way, that's text. You can see it's aligned to the left. And the left function and right and mid and all those always extract things as text. N no problem, because when we do our multiplication, anytime you multiply or divide, it converts it back to a number. Now, we got that. That's the thing that's going to give us number. But we need a t to multiply this times a VLOOKUP. Well, we're going to need to extract this K and M and K as a lookup value. So just write, and write is just simple. We're just going to say, hey, give me the right of, because it'll take characters from the right. And this is, we can hard code this in as one, right? And it'll always give us the K. So this right is going to be what we use inside of the lookup for our lookup value. So watch this. We're going to uh, multiply this times VLOOKUP, the lookup value, since we need the K and the M to look up over here, is going to be right of this relative cell reference comma 1. And now if you highlight this inside the VLOOKUP and hit F9, right, you can see, oh, there's the K, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to control Z. I'm going to suspend this formula right here. I actually want to move this down. I've highlighted this, and I'm going to move it down right here so we can see our formula. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then we can see the range we're highlighting. All right, so you got this? The lookup value inside of VLOOKUP is that right, comma, the table array. There it is, right there. Table array. And I'm going to have to lock this one with the F4 key, comma, the column index, well, that's the lookup. See, this lookup is taking the right and always looking down this column and finding either the K or the M. And it's coming to the second column, so we put a 2 as our column index. The um, We're looking up an exact match right here, so I'm putting 0, close parentheses. Now I want to show you a trick here, because do we really, well, let's see if it works, Control-Enter. 
and then double click and send it down, right? And so there we have our numbers. And if we refresh, doesn't matter what this keeps refreshing as, these numbers will always update. Now, one other thing, do we really need this table in our sheet? Probably not, because K, these are as hard code as you get. K means 1,000, M means a million, right? So you could actually come over to your uh, VLOOKUP, and there's the table array. If you hit the F9 key, it'll put your array, let's see, OK. Did I not highlight the right data? I'm going to hit F9 again. I got my fingers crossed. There we go. And array syntax, curly brackets, uh, columns are commas, rows are semicolons, but there it is. You can hard code that in and just leave that formula. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And so then you can have your formula there for uh, whatever the web query dumps in. All right, we'll see you next trick.